Yo, what is going on guys? It's the one and only one Hennis and today I am bringing you another Call of Duty Black Ops 3 video over here onto my channel. Now today guys, what you're going to be watching is a nail gun only nuclear that I got I believe just a couple days ago here in Black Ops 3. Now, this is probably one of the coolest nuclears I've been able to get so far just for the same reasons that I've been talking about in all of the videos where I've actually gone ahead and showed you guys gameplay with the nail gun. If you guys don't know already, if you haven't actually gotten the chance to try out this weapon or you haven't seen those other gameplays, first of all, I will leave those other gameplays linked down there in the description below. But but the real big thing for me that really makes this weapon pretty difficult to use is the fact that there is bullet travel time. So very similar to what we had with the Banshee where you sort of have to predict where the enemies are going to be, we have that exact same thing here on the nail gun. So you guys will see here throughout this gameplay, I sort of have to shoot in front of people a little bit, sort of predicting where they're going to be in order to actually get the kill. So it becomes pretty interesting when you're shooting at enemies that are moving laterally across your screen. But then again, there are a lot of gunfights that I actually get into because we are playing Domination on Nuketown where I'm shooting enemies head on coming out of their spawn. So hopefully you guys will go ahead and enjoy today's video though. If you guys do, a like rating would be very much appreciated. Let's go ahead and see if we can shoot for 100 likes on this nail gun nuclear. That would be absolutely amazing, guys. I really have been enjoying the support that you guys have been showing over here on my channel. It really does mean a lot to me. And uh, I will be bringing you guys some more Infinite Warfare gameplays as well. So make sure you guys stay subscribed to my channel. And without further ado, let's get right into this video. So what I'm going to talk to you guys about today is probably addressing the very first question that you guys are going to have here, which is, Hennis, why on earth are you posting a Black Ops 3 gameplay when the Infinite Warfare beta is out. Well, this was actually a gameplay that I got in between the first weekend of the beta and the second weekend of the beta. Now, if you guys weren't aware, for some reason, Infinity War decided to release the second weekend of the Infinite Warfare beta a little bit earlier than they had originally scheduled. As you guys know, for the very first weekend, we were scheduled to have the first weekend of the Infinite Warfare beta from Friday at 1 p.m. all the way till Monday at 1 p.m. But due to some issues in the first weekend on Friday, they extended that to Tuesday at 1 p.m. And then for some reason, they decided to release it around Thursday, mid day here instead of Friday, which is when it was originally scheduled here for the second weekend. So who knows, we may even get it extended a little bit more towards the beginning of next week, which would be really nice, especially for you Xbox One users, who for you, this is the very first time you're actually getting the chance to play this beta. So hopefully you guys are enjoying the beta so far. I wanna know your opinions down there in the comment section below. They've added a brand new game mode, Frontline, which I haven't gotten the chance to play yet, but there is some gameplay of it up on Carnage, so if you guys can go check that out if you wanna see what the new game mode is. Essentially what I really like about it and why I'm actually pretty excited to try it out is because it's sort of like a TDM match, but it's also sort of like a domination match as well. So there's two halves, but it's TDM based. So pretty much the only objective is to get kills. So the first half of the game, you just have to go ahead and get 100 kills, and then the spawns flip, and in the second half, you have to go ahead and get 100 kills as well. Now, what's really nice about this game mode, in my opinion, is that the spawns don't flip. And this is one of the big things that I absolutely love about playing Uplink back in Black Ops 3 and in other game modes that actually had Uplink, because the spawns didn't flip unless you pushed them really, really hard. So the fact that the in the actual game description, of frontline there's no spawn flipping is awesome because that means you're going to be able to get a ton of kills especially if you use lethal score streaks as well which is what i'm really excited about now a couple more deatomizer strike gameplays are going to be coming up here on my channel pretty soon which hopefully you guys will be looking forward to but i need to tell you guys this secret right off the bat if you guys are having trouble getting deatomizer strikes play solo TDM. I cannot stress enough how much this is going to help you get in gameplays. If you're getting in domination matches and you're getting in lobbies that are full of level 30s and you're only finding sweaty tryhards, try playing solo TDM. It really works. I'm being 100% honest with you. It literally has gotten me so close to getting some deatomizer strikes. Just this morning, I think I played somewhere between 5 and 10 games and I literally got on, I believe, 3 or 4 20 gun streaks. I actually didn't get any because my luck was pretty bad. But the fact that I'm still getting that close to getting deatomizer is really nice, especially when playing solo, when in reality, if I was playing at a party, I probably would have been able to get those just because it's a little bit easier when you're playing with better players. But still, nonetheless, guys, go ahead and try it out. It definitely works. So the last one thing that I do want to ask for you guys before the end of this video is I want to know your opinion on the final set of DLC weapons for Black Ops 3. As you guys know, the last set that we got, the most recent set, did come with the DIY 11 Renovator, the nuclear you're watching in the background here right now. And the reason I bring this up is because we're very close to the end of the life cycle of Black Ops 3 if not arguably at the end of it. And obviously the Infinite Warfare beta is here and Infinite Warfare is right around the corner. So I wanna know from you guys, do you think that the weapons that we got in the very last DLC weapon drop are the last weapons that we're getting here for the, uh, Black Ops 3? I'll be interested to hear your opinion. And if they're not, what other weapons do you guys think we could possibly be getting? Because I don't know about you guys, but I really don't see Treyarch coming up with anything else at this point. It would be kind of pointless for them to release us new weapons, especially considering the fact that Black Ops 3 is pretty much ended and Infinite Warfare is sort of the new sort of 
current Call of Duty. But then again, Advanced Warfare did do a similar thing where they sort of released weapons periodically throughout the year. So maybe Treyarch is going to do that as well with Black Ops 3. But as with everything I like to talk about in this channel, be sure to go ahead and leave your opinions down there in the comments section below. Hopefully you guys did go ahead and enjoy today's video though. If you guys did, a like rating would be very much appreciated. Like I said, 100 likes is our goal. Subscribe to my channel if you guys are new. Comment down below, hashtag nuclear if you watched it to this point in the video. And anyways guys, thank you all so very much for watching and I will see you guys in the next one. Until next time everybody, keep gaming and as always, stay cool. Adios.